The start of fall has brought some relief. A pleasant October Tuesday for the kids at Highland Montessori School to spend outside, but it's not by choice. We are completely outside from, from 8 to 6. Because, well, school director Lulu Salman showed us the inside. It happened Wednesday night. Salman and her husband, who run the school together, woke up to a voicemail from police. You know, I really feel like it was a blur that morning to just come and find our businesses all broken and torn. After someone drove through the T-shaped intersection into their building before ditching the car and running off. I was totally disheartened. I mean, it was like, oh my goodness, how are we gonna, I mean, do we even have a school? But it didn't necessarily come as a surprise. This intersection is so notorious for people running red lights. I mean, people treat this intersection as like a, it's a stop sign instead of a stop light. Even boulders placed in front by the previous owner didn't protect them. A frustrated post on social media caught the attention of District 4 Council Member Cheeto Vela. Those dangerous intersections in District 4, uh, my staff and I take particular responsibility of. Council Member Vela, along with representatives from the Austin Transportation Department and Public Works, stopped by the school Tuesday morning to hear concerns. The neighbors were reporting a, a high incidence of speeding uh, on Northcrest there, and uh, and then of course the St. John is kind of a little workaround between I-35 and 183 too. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, traffic flow through there. As the city now works on changes to the intersection, Salman realized the accident created a teaching opportunity. Our philosophy of Montsori is that we have to live you know, in, in beauty. We kind of create beauty. That's part of our service to the world, right? So mm -hmm. we were like, okay, what do we do with this ugly board? An ugly board, now a canvas with a little help from their art teacher. Every day she takes a couple of kids outside and they paint it a little bit and it's part of their art, you know, class to just, you know, beautify the area.